Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Forgotten Vehicles. In this episode, we're going to be covering the Hakuchu Drag. But before we get into that, let's go over the Easter eggs of the previous episode. And there was one little scene that I made, which is of course a big nod to the gameplay trailer for GTA Online, which you can see right here. I was actually surprised how many people of you actually recognized it. I thought it might be a little bit something that was kind of forgotten about, no pun intended. But I was presently surprised with how many of you got it. So so again, it was a group effort. Clap, clap. Well done, everyone. I'm very proud. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's dive into today's episode about the Hikuchi Drag. Now, the Hikuchi Drag was first released in the bikers update for nearly a million dollars. And at first glance, when I saw the bike, I was like, oh man, I really want to get this. And I did. And I just did nothing but drive that bike for the longest time until I sold it. Because like with any other things, you don't really use it anymore at some point. You need the money and then you sell it. Now, actually, last week when Rockstar was like, hey, we going to pull a sale on it. I was like, oh, my, the Hikuchi Drag. I used to love that bike. So before I started recording this episode, I was like, you know, I want to talk about it. I should rebuy it. I should go and, you know, take it out for a drive again. And, and I was quickly reminded about what was great about the bike and also what's not so great about the bike. But of course, you know, being the positive man that I am, we're going to start off with the great stuff. The Gucci Drag is actually a very unique bike within GTA Online, especially when it came out. Starting out, of course, is that the fact that this is literally the only drag bike within GTA Online, as well as the fact that you can lean forward if you want to get that speed boost instead of having to do a wheel. Now, obviously, there are more vehicles like that nowadays inside of the game, but the Hikuchi Drag was actually one of the first vehicles to do it. And one of my personal reasons why I used to love that bike so much is because of that specific reason. Because of leaning forward, you have much more control. And yeah, sure, you could argue whenever the Hikuchi Drag starts to get a little bit of a speed, understeer is definitely going to be its second name. But aside from that, it just makes the bike a lot more fun to drive. The Shatoro, of course, is also an example of this as well where you can do that but it definitely was a start of something in my opinion that that was definitely a step in the right direction sure the body is by all means going to be the fastest bike for probably the longest time but even so with the body you constantly have to pop wheelies whereas with the Gucci drag and also with the Satoro, you can just lean forward and in my opinion that makes this bike a lot more fun now obviously it wasn't a perfect bike and it never will be a perfect bike either because like i mentioned the understeer on this Thing is horrendous but not only that and allow me to show you some clips of that as i'm talking about it you probably know what i'm going to say that is of course with how easily you could fall off this bike i barely have any speed whatsoever these clips are not slowed down and you can see how incredibly slow i'm going i bump into a little something something on the road and i immediately fall off it, it that was one of the most irritating things about the Gucci drag because you could fall off this thing so so easily so that's one of the main reasons why eventually i stopped using using it and obviously at some point the oppressor came out so that was a lot faster and if you kind of think about it the oppressor combination with the uh, biker menu they can instantly spawn bikes as well as the oppressor and the oppressor mark ii you really start to think man that man you probably shouldn't be spawning those vehicles that fast because it kind of taking away the pleasure of driving any of the other bikes but then again that's kind of my own fault i assume because i typically kind of go for the things that gets me from a to b faster but the Gucci drag has definitely still got a special place within my heart. And of course, I'd love to know if you have any fond memories of the Gucci drag. Are you someone that still has one or has good memories of it? Or are you someone that's like, why are you even covering this bike? It's, it's, it's not good. Stop. Get some help. Let me know in those comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later.